Um, yes. The time was, the date was not displaying, so I had to open the date and time properties box. <clears throat> Let me see if it will display automatically. Well, nevertheless, the calendar here is visible. Um, yes, it's March 29th at 3.07 p.m. Now I cannot get rid of this box. It seems that the box is frozen there. Now the computer is starting to act up all of a sudden. Well, yes, the reason why I am filming this video is to further document difficulties which once again I am experiencing on this hacked laptop. Now I was working on a project, a video project in Windows Movie Maker. I was about to save the project when the computer started becoming, let's say, very uncooperative. <clears throat> I'm trying to get rid of these frozen boxes, which up to a few minutes ago, I was not having this problem. The date would display normally when I would place um, the arrow on the time. And all of a sudden now, it's not displaying. And the reason why I want to get rid of these frozen boxes is because I wanted to show in, in this video how when I clicked when I clicked on the option save video or save movie the option just froze and the video was not saved last time um, those those of you who have seen my YouTube site and my videos are acquainted that last time which I tried to save a video in the Windows Movie Maker I encountered multiple difficulties I even had to go to the library um, the Central Cranston Library in Rhode Island where I live here and even at the library I was not able to use this program which they have installed in the majority of their computers because of some problem it stated uh, with audio hardware that was not installed well that's what the computer said I tried several computers and I was not able to use this program on any of those computers nevertheless I was for um, a few days trying to save the last video project which I did or one of the last video projects which I did on Windows Movie Maker um, which documented the chronic conditioning which my eldest son has been exposed to um, and which was clearly evident on the March 3rd visit and on that video I compare with vid with video segments from other visits and then I compare to the March 3rd visit so that that way but through comparison the conditioning um, is more noticeable well I was now working on a video um, which uh, had to do with an activity which I and my eldest son, Wencito, did on the February 17th visit, um, in which both of us together made a bear mask. And I had at the end of the video included several photos of my most recent visit with my sons, uh, which was on March 17th. I was about to save it, I encountered difficulties. This, of course, is not, it's not new to me. Um, every time I'm working on a specific task to expose what is happening to my sons, um, when I'm working on my site against uh, CPS abuse, um, always either browsers crash. Actually, the browser had crashed on me today before uh, filming this video. It had crashed already. S um, and I already had encountered other difficulties prior to um, uh, filming this video. Difficulties which were not related to this program. So, in short, every time I try to do anything related to work, uh, related to exposing this injustice, always the computer seems to act against me. So either the computer is alive and thinks on its own and is not very fond of me, or obviously, as I have already proven, as, as I have already proved with, um, with many videos and, and screenshots, which I have uh, at my disposal, this computer is obviously being hacked. 
and the person who is hacking this computer is in all likelihood uh, acquainted and associated with Anna Dickinson who is the person who falsely accused me in 2006 and then again in 2008 who called DCYF anonymously in March of 2009 to fix and arrange the deportation of the two children whom she had caused to be removed from our house without an investigation in 2008, in December of 2008. And this is the person who, right now as I speak, is destroying my children. She's destroying my children. She's conditioning them. She's passing off my kids as something which they are not. And she is doing her best uh, to destroy my family and my marriage, as she has so desperately sought to do f um, for several years already. So, the person who is doing this, this computer is hacked, is in all likelihood associated with Anna Dickinson. She stands the most to lose if the truth of what she is doing is exposed. Up to now, she has managed, unfortunately, she has managed to deceive many people with her very uh, skillful acting. And, um, and, and with this web of deceit that she has managed to so uh, dexterously create. Um, and she just does not wish to be exposed. If she were to be exposed, she could be in a lot of hot water. But nevertheless, um, I know that God is with me and I will continue to do all I can, all that is within my very limited power, to expose this woman and to, and to see that she be held accountable for all the atrocities which she has committed and for all the harm which she has done to my innocent children. Well, there you have it. Another strange occurrence on a hacked laptop by Anna Dickinson's hacker friend.